So hello everybody. Um, so hello everybody. My name is Xiaoru Li, and you can also call me Liu. I come from China, and currently I study uh, CS in uh, Germany, in uh, the city called Karlsruhe. And I post uh, crash courses on Twitter, like uh, learn GraphQL in 10 tweets and stuff, and also make videos on uh, my usual channel called MethodCoder. And so today we're going to talk about building command line interfaces with React. And but this kind of apps, command line interfaces, uh, and terminals have been with us for, uh, for like 40 years or 50 years. But uh, why do we still care? So as it, turn out, uh, as it turns out, that uh, these kind of apps are still super relevant today. And especially when you're a developer, uh, we can rely, uh, we always rely on CLI apps like Git or create a Re React app and so on because they are practical and fast and uh, developer friendly. And if you are building something like a library or framework and a uh, CLI companion lib uh, app sh uh, would be super useful for you uh, to uh, let your users set up your uh, uh, project as well. So how do we start building command line interfaces with uh, JavaScript? And we start with Hello World. And uh, we just save this line to a uh, .js file and run node on it, and that's perfect. But if we want to do, do something more interesting, for example, uh, make the text bold or italics or with colors, um, it can be tricky. Uh, that's because we use something called uh, ANSI escape code, and that thing is super ugly if you just directly use them, because, uh, for example, if you want to print color text, just to print something like this, we need to write a whole bunch of non-readable uh, and also non-printable non, uh, non stuff. And uh, if we want to do something like update the already printed line, we need to do something like this, like uh, go to uh, move our cursor to 1,000 1, column to the left and remove everything uh, like this. So this is not very helpful. And uh, right now we have a terminal emulator, so we can basically reshape our, uh, our uh, terminal. Uh, so our, uh, the, the size of the terminal is not, no longer hard-coded. So we have to deal with the layout as well. And m uh, when we update uh, multiple chunks simultaneously, like Jess, for example, it's going to be super tough if we just uh, write those kind of uh, ANSI escape code. So this is when we have uh, uh, ink. And ink is a uh, custom rack renderer that renders components to text along with the ANSI escape uh, code and stuff. And it also lets us use Flexbox for the layout. So for example, building, uh, uh, building an ink app is basically just like any React app. And we import stuff with, that we need and write custom components. And for example, we have, uh, we want to build something like this. And we just write CS, uh, JSX for it. And uh, notice the box element, which uh, box component, that, that is where we can use uh, Flexbox, uh, kind of like the view in uh, React Native. And this is how it looks like. And we can also use arrow keys to control stuff. And with ink, we can actually also render uh, markdown to the, the terminal. Uh, this is very important and uh, useful for building, for example, menus for, for an app, command line app. And another thing is that we have a framework based on ink called Pastel. Uh, it kind, kind of works like Next.js, and we can just use uh, the file structure, um, project structure, to uh, define the subcommands. Uh, sub and in, in a next app, it will be uh, routes, for example, but here we, uh, we're dealing with subcommands. So for example, we want to make something similar to a Git, uh, a Git app, we can just structure uh, our app like this. And also there's another library called React Blast, and that allows us to render uh, our components to Blast uh, widgets. Blast is uh, basically a widget library for Node where you can build uh, full screen apps better. So for example, if you want to build something like a text editor, uh, React Blast would be a, a good idea. And that's all I have for you guys today, and I uh, hope you find it useful.